most days I usually eat pretty much the same thing. Lunch is usually about like 12 ounces of meat. Whatever that is. Today I'm eating chicken. I'll show you guys how I make, or I guess how I like marinate this. I don't really marinate that much. Literally cornstarch and a little bit of baking soda so that it doesn't taste dry. And I'm able to like <laughs> actually enjoy what I'm eating as I'm dieting at the same time. But I will say I don't really account for like the macros of the cornstarch in there. I do cook every day, but when I meal prep, I meal prep everything raw. The recipe for the sauce is just whatever's on the screen here. Um, I put them all in grams because I don't know. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I have a scale and I just put it all in grams. So the way I like to cook the chicken is just to cook it about like 90% with a little bit of oil on the pan. You can see the macros here, high in calories, but I mean, that's to be expected for like oil, right? All right, let's, let's measure it. So there is remaining oil on the pan. This is literally almost a whole tablespoon. I usually like to turn the temperature to like the highest setting because I slice the chicken to like very thin slices. Cooking them will be faster. So this is what I'm talking about, cooking the chicken to like about 90% cooked. And then I pour in the sauce, and the sauce usually cooks it to the point where the chicken is just cooked. This is the kimchi that I use. If you have an H-bar near you, this is this is where I got it. Kimchi, I would say, is a pretty cheat code food. 10 carbs, but that's for like 8 ounces. The amount that I put on my plate is not 8, is not eight ounces. So. Let me measure exactly how many ounces it is. Shit. About three ounces. So I would say that's about like four grams, almost four grams of carbs, which is which is not bad. Also, this I consider a cheat code. It's Coke Zero, but it's like the cherry vanilla flavor. This is literally water, but like artificial sugar is like a major part of my cheat code. If I want to crave my like sweet tooth. And like I said, I'm gonna be documenting literally everything I eat for the next five days. So. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the gym now. Today's uh, chest shoulder tries, but mostly it's focused on shoulders. Also, I got this new mic so I can talk as I'm working out, or I don't have to be that close to the camera to talk while I'm at the gym. You just start off with four sets of five with heavy bench. I usually do two sets of warm up, one with one plate 135, one with two plate 225. So stretch out my, uh, my chest a little bit. <sighs> Second warm up set. All right. Whenever I go down, I try not to like bounce it off my chest or like use the momentum of the bounce because it's like really easy to like. It's really easy to do that. So I usually take long breaks for these, two minutes, thirty seconds. Also, these time stuff, it's like relative. I put on the timer, but sometimes if I'm more tired or whatever, I don't go in like right away. So I move the camera so you get different angles. All right. Woo. Ah. Ah. Sometimes I'm not able to like do all of it because basically I'm tired. So if it's like four sets of 10 or something, I'll try to do like eight reps. But I also make sure to finish off the, the set. So I'll do eight reps and then rest for a little bit and then the last two. At the end of the day, the volume is still there. Oh, Jesus, I got it. Okay, I'm gonna rest a little bit and do one more to get five. <sighs> Okay, 
Okay, so for this one, it's just four sets of 10 shoulder presses. I'm using 70s right now. That's why I start off with. I try to go like as low as I can. Also, I try not to use the momentum of a bounce. I know some people, they go like this and they go up real quick, right? If you're able to stop starting from no bounce to that, I don't know. I think you get more out of your, out of your reps. <laughs> Uh, or I rest for 60 seconds. I'm not exact with it sometimes because like, either if I'm feeling tired, I rest a little longer. I feel like as long as you get your reps and sets, you should be good. Okay. Hips. Oh, man. Okay, that's six. Okay. That's six. I'm gonna rest you four more real quick. Oh fuck. One more, one more, one more. I should have probably gone down on this one. Sixty five or sixty, bro. That's okay. <laughs> Make sure you get that slow negative when you come down. There you go. <laughs> I just came back from the gym because I thought I could film everything on my iPhone. I ran out of storage, so I, I just came back. I'm going to bring this camera to the gym now and finish the rest of the workout. So I did one set of behind the neck press as I was debating whether or not to get my to get my camera. I'm just going to do four, though. I'm going to do 100. For these, I think these are like supposedly really bad for you, but I do them anyways. I feel like they're only bad if you do them wrong, and I don't know if I'm doing them wrong, so this is just what I do. So this is four sets of 10, 60 second rest in between. <sighs> freaking wire that I have to use. I only bought a wireless mic for my phone. Now look at the freaking wire, bro. Anyways, 60 second rest and then uh, we'll do it again. <sighs>
Oh, fuck. I'm gonna rest for a little bit, get one more set. I mean, one more rep. <laughs> I'm gonna go lower. I'm gonna go with 80s. All right, let's do the 100s until I can't, and then switch to 80s. <sighs> Okay. I think I'm gonna try to do 100s again. I don't even know if I can do 80s after this, but it's okay. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna rest and we go last five on the 80. Alright, so this next shoulder workout is actually one of my favorites. It's called the Cuban Press. I usually do it with like 20s, but um, all the 20s are taken. Uh, so I'm gonna go up in 25s. So for these, they usually start off pretty easy until you get to the, the seven or eight one, seventh or eighth set. One more. Okay. I'm gonna take a break there. Working on our shoulders is great. Makes your frame a little wider. Makes you look a little better. some poses real quick. Huh? Should rest. My form is getting a little off. Usually whenever my form gets off, that's when I take a rest. I would go down and wait, but the <laughs> but all the 20s are freaking taken, so we gotta stick with 25, just do more rest in between. Okay, I should rest now. <sighs> Oh, I 
it. So at this point, we've hit pretty much mid workout. We're gonna do some dips now. One more, one more. Ooh. Okay. Three more, three more. So for this one, I usually do 42 pounds. You really want to like lock where your elbows are at and then just go out like that. The next one I usually do is like the overhead. I don't know what it's called to be honest. But this one I would just use about like 30 pounds ish. When you come back down, you want to do like a pause rep and not use any of the bounce, you know what I mean? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> for this last exercise for triceps, we're gonna use this little handle thing. What you want is like an underhand grip. The way I usually do is about like 15. Let me try 20 today. 20 might be pushing it. If it's too much, I just go down, you feel me? Something like that. Go back on shoulders. This is actually the craziest superset that give you your shoulders a really, really crazy pump. You feel me? So lat raises, front raises, rear shoulder flies. I think. <laughs> That's what they're called. And then shoulder presses. And we're gonna do all that in a superset. Eight reps of each. Right now I'm just doing 20s for uh, lat raises and front raises and the 80 for the shoulder press. So it's gonna burn, but it's good, it's good.
Alright, so I mostly do these rear flies seated. And we're gonna go straight into a shoulder press real quick. But this time the shoulder press is from the front. Let's just say. Two more sets of those and we're done, baby. Right, let's hit this last set and get out of here. All right, so I don't really know how to pose, but these are the poses that I like to do. To showcase my shoulders and maybe chest a little bit, so. <laughs> Bro, I'm freaking hungry. <laughs> so for dinner, I'm also gonna have 12 ounces of chicken. Also, it is pretty late right now. It's 11.18, as you can see on the stove. Um, we also have two tomatoes, five eggs, four pieces of bread, two servings of peanut butter, two servings of jam, and then we're gonna eat three ounces of almonds. This is the peanut butter that I use. Here's the nutrition facts for that. This is the jam that I use. It's actually crazy because the natural one has less calories than the regular, or the non-natural one, I guess. I mostly use peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to like, crave my sweet tooth. Also, I don't really eat the most healthiest bread. I just eat white bread. For the peanut butter and jellies, I like to like score it like this. So when the jelly piece goes on top, like the jelly doesn't really move around that much so that the jelly doesn't slip. This is the rice wine that I use, and here are the nutrition facts on that. 
I usually log like right after I eat lunch. Like today, I, I guess I forgot to. So I'm gonna start logging that stuff now. I use My Fitness Pal mostly. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is supposed to be like a 2,300 calorie diet. But I guess if you include the sauce and like the oil and stuff like that, I probably went over it already. If you look at the pure numbers, like without including like the oil and the sauce, as you can see here, I only have 374 calories remaining to consume. Here are the macros. I just need a little more protein, so we're gonna do that by eating some almonds. I'm gonna do uh, three ounces of almonds. They do have a lot of calories, but it's not like a complete replacement, but it's like pretty close in terms of like, if you like to eat chips, like I get the habanero barbecue almonds from Blue Diamond. And the salt and vinegar one is really good too. They also have like different flavors I really like, like wasabi, soy sauce or something like that. That. After adding three ounces, I'm like really, really close to all of those. Uh... I do eat the same thing over and over again every day, pretty much. The only thing that really changes is maybe like one day I eat beef instead of chicken or something like that. Or I can do beef for lunch or like chicken for dinner. Almonds are a really good way to like also switch things up because they have like so many different flavors. My thing is like I'm really bad with snacking. Like, or no, I'm not really bad at snacking. I'm really good at snacking. Anytime like I buy snacks, Literally, the day I buy it, like, all the snacks, like, are gone. So, since I know that's my weakness, I just don't get any snacks. But, like, just, just make sure you don't, like, eat, like, really dirty food and stuff like that. That's only for the weekends, though. That's only for the weekends, feel me? That's pretty much everything I eat in a day. The next few days aren't gonna look that much different. Instead of eating almonds, I can drink some protein powder to, like, increase the protein that I need to take in and stuff like that. Tomorrow will be legs and abs. I don't know how much, like, advice I can give, because I'm not really, like, that scientific with, like, lifting. I just do what I do, and it works. At the end of the day, I feel like if you're able to, like, figure out, like, a diet plan or, like, a workout plan that works for you, that's great. And I think maybe, like, seeing another person's, like, diet and their workout is, like a great start to like a great base to have but that's just my opinions this is not hey it's not financial advice you feel me not like fitness advice you feel me but i think it's cool to see other people's routines and their like diets and stuff like that